Hello guys, back at it once again. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys a review, tutorial, startup functions, etc. on the MS250 Chainsaw. This right here, my friends, is the beast of choice for the day. This is a small grade chainsaw. Small not meaning a uh, bad chainsaw, just small meaning it's a small saw. And then there's a medium saw, and then of course there is a large saw. Which a lot of large saws, they're like 30 inches. This is a saw that is very, very good for cutting brush. As you can see, it's got, I want to say that's a... Uh, maybe a 16 inch blade that's on that and it can cut even a lot of big stuff not some of the biggest things like those rounds over there no way you would need something more like this medium sized husqvarna right there in order to cut the bigger stuff but what this saw is really good for is cutting brush a lot of brush it because it's a small saw you're going to be able to carry it around all day and not get as tired generally speaking you want to save medium size or large chainsaws for big stuff only and this was this is a very special saw because it was actually my grandfather's and i actually have another ms250 in here too it's a little bit different the chain in here is so the only difference with this MS250 is the chain, it's a little bit more flexible. Um, I don't know why, but this one, it has a very, uh, very stiff strictness, which I prefer because it's a little bit easier on the sharpening. I was a little bit psyched out at first when it came to the new FS250 with it having a little bit more of a flimsy chain, but that's all in all just to help the mobility of movement. But I don't mind the clunkiness. So, very basic. Uh, most of you that know your chainsaws might already know what I'm talking about in this video. But this right here is what's called your chain brake. You click it forward, and if this chainsaw is turned on, you rev it up. And it's just going to go... Because the chain brake's on. So, the chain will not spin as long as that brake is on. And to release the brake, just simply pull it back. Very basic, like I said. that It's a pull starter, so all you do is just pull this thing to start it. And this is your choke right here. So with these chainsaws, it's gotten a little bit weirder. You, in order to get it to full choke, first what you're going to do is you're just going to press it down to no choke. And it doesn't work to push it down to full choke unless you press the gas down like this. So just like the weed eater that I showed you guys, in order to press the gas, you have to press this first, and then you enable this switch to go down. This gas switch has to be held down to enable the switch to click all the way down to full choke. It is now in full choke. Right here, you have, this is your gas tank. And it is full. And then on the other side, you have your oil tank. And that is also full. Oil is very critical, as a lot of you might not, as a lot of you may already know when it comes to chainsaws, because if you don't oil them, it absolutely will not, the chain can seize up and you can damage it. You can also damage your bar, and it's just not good to not have oil in your chainsaw. What else? And it looks like right in here... I think in here is your is where the air filter is at, if I'm not mistaken. And... A lot of times with these saws is that they won't, they'll lack power, and unless you're holding the gas down, it'll just shut off. A lot of times if that happens, it might be because the air filter is really dirty. 
a lot of times you can just open these things and blow the air filter out and clean it. But I'm kind of, it's got me a little bit confused here as to how to take that thing off. see if I can figure this out okay a little bit tricky most chainsaws you have little screws that you turn to loosen up the air filter cap but it looks like you just turn this guy like this and then that loosens all of the hooks that are keeping this thing on and That is your air filter right there. Uh, I haven't tinkered around with these MS250s very much. Never really cleaned the air filter on these. I've done it on a farm boss more than once, an 0432 AV steel chainsaw. But this one, okay. Let's see here. Okay, so in order to get this air filter off, you have to use this tool right here, I guess. That's how I figured it out. And as you can see, that is pretty hooked on there. And this side is hooked too. Same thing. So really all you have to do is just kind of try to leverage it. Boom. Got that one to pop off. And this other side, it might just come off as it is. Okay, I don't want to force that because we don't want to break anything. Okay, and that thing is off now. And do not force that thing like I just did. Oh my gosh, I am such an idiot. I knew better, but I did it anyways because I wanted it off. So, yeah, luckily it's not, dang it, see, it's too easy to come off now, but as long as this cap is still on, it should be okay. A lot of times if your chainsaw is not going, to, is not running that well, it's very simple, just clean out the air filter. A lot of times, sometimes there's gas that can leak down into the air filter when you're using the saw. It's very simple, just take the air filter out, turn on your vehicle on the heater, and hold the air filter to the heater as a fan, and it'll dry out the gas that is stuck in there. Okay, now that I've given you guys a kind of the demonstration, uh, pretty much how this thing uh, works and whatnot, let's go ahead and start this thing up. And once again, let's see if I can one hand this thing. Okay, it's on full choke, so it should go. I'll go ahead and turn the chain brake on for now. Nope, not going to be able to one hand it. I'm pretty sure you guys can probably see me. Let's just get this thing. Okay, so it's not starting, which leads me to my next point. These chainsaws are kind of fickle. They're very reliable, <coughs> but they flood pretty easily. So you want to do everything you can to not leave them out in the water, just like I might have done. So I guess I will try to start up my other one. and see if I have better luck with that.
same thing choke just push it down in order to push it down all the way put the gas down boom should be good to go this thing has gas and it has oil okay it popped now as soon as you hear it pop change it to no choke you can let it warm up for a little while too it's always good for that for about a minute or two or something like that i usually don't but it's good All right, you guys, there you have it. That's pretty much it. That was the full walkthrough on, a two FS, on an MS-250 chainsaw. And trust me, when it comes to small chainsaws for commercial use, I would look no further than that one. It is the best small chainsaw on the market, in my humble opinion. Okay, guys, hope you have a great day.